This is the location of where the Vance conference was held on the 20th of January 1942. At the very beginning I need to point out one thing which I do in all videos related to the Vance conference. This was not where the decision to murder the Jews of Europe was taken. It wasn't as though these people gathered here and they said what shall we do today? Why don't we just kill the Jews of Europe? That is not what happened here. What happened here was that a decision had been made uh, by Hitler and then they gathered here together to decide how they would do it. It was a relatively short meeting. It was under two hours and uh, most of the time they were talking about who would be uh, classified as a Jew and who thus would be killed. Uh, 20th of January 1942 wasn't a wonderful sunny day like it is today of course now today it is the end of June so it's it's pretty warm. Uh, the 20th of January 42 was a cold day. Vance is to the uh, southwest of Berlin. It is some distance from the center. Indeed some of the attendees came here and traveled uh, together. At the end of the meeting uh, uh, there were three of them hung around for uh, more drinks. Uh, as Eichmann said, they, was, uh, they stayed for a, a cognac or two or three. The question is, of course, is how did Heydrich, who chaired the meeting, th uh, how did he end up uh, doing something like this? 38 years old and now a person who has de decided to wipe out uh, an entire group of people. In fact, Heydrich's role road to, to here was because of his wife. Ironically enough, he got a job in uh, working for Himmler, heading his security service. In fact, he was the one person in it at the beginning. And he got that job only because he'd lost his previous job in the Navy, uh, because he'd uh, entered into a relationship with a woman uh, who thought they were going to get married when he was seeing his future wife. And uh, in, to impress the family of his wife, who were out-and-out -out Nazis. Heydrich was more or less apolitical when he, he met her, so he didn't have this deep-seated hatred of Jews, and certainly his parents uh, came from an environment which was uh, had Jewish students at the school that they ran. So uh, that, it's this narcissism, career narcissism, that led Heydrich to this place. Uh, killings had gone on, mass killings had gone on with, uh, for some time. Uh, the, um, with the invasion of Poland there was already mass uh, killings but that wasn't done in a organized way but uh, with the invasion of the Soviet Union from on the 25th of uh, June 1941 there were mass murders of Jewish people. Now this building uh, belonged to uh, an industrialist and it was acquired by Heydrich in um, 1941. He acquired a couple of buildings for his real estate um, idea that he had to provide homes for SD and SS. You can see though what a wonderful setting this is in advance. Uh, look at the rear. This building's early 20th century. I thought by getting here early I'd be the only person here, but uh, obviously I was wrong. But the significance of this location is that it shows quite distinctly that this is the place where the mass killings were 
put this some order and, and planned. Now, one thing I do also have to make very clear is on the 7th of December 1941, uh, the population, the Jewish population of Kowal was uh, deported to Helmno nad Nerem and gas there and gassings had been going on for some time at Helmno nad Nerem. Also the location at Belzhets in southeastern, what well, is it today, it's southeastern Poland, then it was southern Poland because part, half of it had been occupied by the Soviet Union. Uh, th that camp was probably by then under construction. So the fact is that the, the killings had already started. The decision, I believe, when Hitler decided, um, what I think is this, is that Hitler held on to the Jews of Germany as his sort of a card, uh, as hostages, uh, if you like, uh, to ensure what he would have termed the good behavior of their co-religionists in America. Uh, when uh, Japan attacked Pearl Harbor, three days later, Hitler, declared war on the United States and sometime between the 7th and the 11th he must have decided uh, that he was going to murder all the Jews uh, in Europe although this process had already started anyway uh, and he announced to his Gauleiters at the meeting of the 12th of uh, December 1941 that was when Hitler made it public what he intended to do. In a way, this location is quite fitting. It's extremely attractive. Many of the locations from the Holocaust are attractive places. Treblinka, for example, is in a really nice location. Uh, Sobibor, hidden in the forest. Okay, Helmut and Adnerum is at the end of a village, but where the, the, the forest camp is where the bodies were disposed of and where people were murdered in uh, 1944. Uh, that is also quite an attractive location. It's as though the locations for the Holocaust, the Holocaust journey is through uh, somewhat attractive locations. Right, so as far as this is concerned, you'll find on my site, you find biographies of the attendees of the conference. Uh, so I, I explain uh, their background, uh, how they got here, and what, what, and what happened to them afterwards. Um, I've also got uh, quite a lot of details on ghettos and, uh, and death camps themselves. I've done considerable research at Belzhets, uh, Helmno and Adnerum, and um, Sobiwar. So if you find that sort of thing interesting, then you might want to subscribe. Uh, but for the moment, thanks very much for watching, and all the best from me in Vance.